we have analyzed the samples from the asteroid Ryugu. The samples were brought back to Earth from a space mission called Hayabusa 2, which was a Japanese mission from the JAXA. So in our preliminary analysis, we, uh, we analyzed the chemical abundance of uh, uh, all the elements of uh, the chemical classifications. And uh, we discovered that these samples have the same uh, composition as the most primitive meteorites called carbonaceous chondrites, which are very rich in carbon, which uh, for most elements have the same composition as the surface of the sun. In addition, we, uh, there are some little difference with these uh, primitive meteorites. For example, we find less water in Ryugu than in carbonaceous chondrites. And we believe that uh, the reason for having less water, one of it is that most meteorites on Earth have been contaminated by terrestrial water. These uh, uh, asteroid samples also contain lots of organic material. Typically, uh, we found more amino acids that we will have on Earth uh, and many complex carbon molecules. Ayabusa 2 mission left Earth in 2014 with the goal to bring back, for the second time actually, samples from an asteroid to Earth to analyze them and to compare these samples to meteorites. Meteorites are samples that are falling randomly on Earth. We believe that all, most of the meteorites are coming from the asteroid belts, are pieces of asteroids, and they are the main source of information that we have on the origin of the solar system. However, there is always uh, been this question of uh, how much these samples represent uh, asteroid samples. And so the goal of uh, this mission was to make a connection between asteroid samples that we have collected, and so we know from which asteroids they are coming from, with these, uh, most, uh, the most primitive meteorites that date from the origin of the solar system, from the first instance of uh, the formation of uh, solids in the solar system. Asteroid samples, meteorites, are the only samples we have on Earth that dates from the origin of the solar system. Most of these uh, meteorites and Ryugu samples date from more than 4.5 billion years ago. So they are re really the only uh, samples that we have in the lab to understand where planets are coming from, uh, what was here before the planets, uh, how do you form the first solids that are going to uh, be first millimetrics and then going to agglomerate to form planets which will be bigger and bigger to finally reach a planet of the size of the Earth. Which uh, And then the big question is also what is the origin of water in planets? Why do the Earth have water and not the Moon or Mars? And so where the water is coming from, when was it delivered to the Earth, and what type of material has delivered water to terrestrial planets, which in the end has permitted to uh, some planet like the Earth to have life. Mm -hmm.